welcome to Excellence Talk. My name is Jennifer Cirignota and this is Vito Kulemeyer. If you're new to Excellence Talk, here's what you can expect. This talk series will give you the inside track on selected aspects of the Swiss public transport system. Last time we brought you insights from the Grand Train Tour of Switzerland. We are delighted that so many of you tuned in and we hope you had as much fun watching it as we had producing it. If you didn't see it, there's still time to do so. You won't be disappointed. Hundreds of you got to see our colleague Andy taking a tour of Lucerne, Michelle exploring the secrets along the Bernina Express route and Daniel hanging out with Freddie Mercury in Monte. Today we are back for another episode, letting you in on some highlights of the Lucerne Interlaken Express. It's the flagship train experience of the Zentralbahn, which operates several trains in the heart of Switzerland. Let's put it on the map, all the way from Lucerne to Interlaken and of course back. But before we begin, we're going to have to take a look at the leaderboard of the STS Excellence Program. As you can see, there's been a lot of movement, and those of you who answered the questions correctly received lots of valuable points for a chance at the top. Here's an outlook on today's hottest stories. These are today's headlines. Interview with Stefan Pfister, Director Sales International of the Zentralbahn. And then we're going to follow up with impressions from our colleagues Daniel Hug and Michelle Kalin on the Lucerne Interlaken Express. Next up, a warm welcome from our market manager in New York, Martin Öster. On this program, we make childhood dreams come true. We got to take an exclusive look inside the train driver's cabin on the Lucerne Interlaken Express. As always, don't forget to complete our quiz and collect 2,500 points to increase your chance for one of five dream trips to Switzerland at the end of the year. Do you already have your Swiss Travel System Excellence Diploma for 2022? If not, now is the time to complete the courses. All others can easily extend their certificate by taking the news module. It only takes 17 minutes. That's less than an episode of your favorite show. Become the Swiss expert your clients trust and help them plan their dream trip to Switzerland by train, bus and boat. So, Jenny, tell us, what do we have in store for our audience today? <laughs> to start things off, we sat down with Stefan Pfister. He's the sales director international for the Zentralbahn. Let's hear what he had to say about the Lucerne Interlaken Express that connects two of the most popular tourist destinations in Switzerland. Hi everyone, today we're here in beautiful Lucerne, but I'm even more glad that I'm joined here today by Stefan Pfister, who all of you know, he's the director of Sales International for the Zentralbahn, which operates the Lucerne Interlaken Express, and he is about to face our quick fire questions. We're going to start right here, keep your answers as brief as possible. Ooh. I'm going to start right now, okay? okay? Stefan, you have a cell phone, right? Yes, correct. Okay, right. So this one question is about on a scale from 1 to 10. I'm just going to take your phone right here, okay? I'm going to scroll through and you're going to tell me, will I find more pictures of trains or selfies of yourself? Oh, so I, I was born 1980s. That means I'm from the old generation. That means I'm still... Oh, you're not that old. Yeah, it's okay. So I still use the classical panoramic train pictures. So I have those ones on my mobile. Okay. Not that much selfies. Right, not that many selfies, he says. We'll never know if that's really true, but uh, I'll, just take your, I'll just take your word for it. Okay. Uh, moving on to the second question. Okay, so when I was little, I wanted to be a superhero. Didn't really work out. What was your, uh, what was your dream job as a kid? Oh, as a kid. Uh, when I was 10 years old, uh, I wanted to become a professional cyclist. Okay, right, sporty guy. Yeah, still today a little bit, yeah. yeah. So a professional cyclist uh, and now you're uh, director of sales. So uh, pretty much went the way you wanted it. Yeah, I can sell my hometown, so, uh, so it's a dream job, yeah. Perfect, well, as long as you love what you do. The next question is uh, the Lucerne Interlaken Express. I know it's hard, but uh, describe it to me in three words. Ooh, three words, that's tough. Uh, it's definitely uh, diverting, it's uh, entertaining. Right. And it's uh, typical Swiss, typical Switzerland. Typical Swiss, if you go on the Lucerne Interlaken Express, you get all of Switzerland on one train. 
Our final question is, uh, why is the Lucerne Interlochen Express a must for any visitor? Yeah, first of all, uh, our train, so we connect the two main destinations, Lucerne and Interlochen Jungfrau. So we are in between. So people have no choice, they have to take the train. So second, of course, you can discover a very beautiful part of Switzerland within two hours. We also call it the Five Lake uh, train journey. Okay, yeah. uh, so that's, I think, the main reasons, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Well, that concludes our quick fire questions and I think Stefan did a phenomenal job. What do you guys think? Let us know. Uh, but of course, that's not the end of it. We've got more questions for Stefan and uh, we're about to find out uh, what he has to say. Okay. So uh, we've got, obviously, we have one train, the flagship uh, of the Zentralbahn, and we have four seasons. What would you say is typical for each one of them? Oh, so winter is winter on the land. So the scenery is, is really special uh, yeah. when you have a lot of snow. Uh, spring, days are getting longer. The flowers are coming up, nice temperature. Summer, Early morning, late in the evening, you still have the lights. Uh, you can spend the uh, evening until 10 p.m. and you still can enjoy uh, yeah, the summertime with a swim in the lake. In autumn, in, in fall, you have the beautiful golden trees, the colorful uh, scenery, also very, very beautiful. So in fact, we Swiss, we love all four seasons and it's just amazing to have uh, this year in, in our country. Okay, wow, that seems like it's a very tough choice if you'd have to choose. Correct, yeah. All right. And um, obviously when you're in the region, uh, people are always asking about, you know, insider tips. What are the kind of side excursions that nobody should miss when they're here? Yeah, I think when you start a journey here in Lucerne, of course, Mount Pilatus, Fenomal Mountain, uh, just next door, it's a must. Then uh, you go further uh, to the Brünig Pass. There is Prince Rothorn, Arischlucht, with the power of all the water. Uh, then you go further, Lake of Brienz, you can do a boat trip. Or uh, as well, then in Interlaken is Schildhorn and Jungfrau, uh, two main mountain excursions in Switzerland. So there are a lot of excursions and a lot of things to see. Okay, sounds like uh, an action-filled uh, uh, day. Um, and when people come, they have certain expectations. Uh, what, but what can they expect from the Lucerne Interlaken Express? Uh, of sure, they can take a, a memory when they go back to their country. They can expect friendly stuff. Uh, they can expect uh, Switzerland, typical Switzerland, the combination of mountain and lakes. Uh, so we just want to surprise them and to make them happy. Make them happy. Hospitality is, uh, comes first at the Lucerne Interlaken Express uh, and you have a lot of happy visitors. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. Right now, I'd just like to fast forward in time, okay? We're just going to go to the year 2030, uh, which is quite a little, you know, a bit of time from now. Um, and I want to know from you, tell me, what can we... What, what, what kind of plans do you have uh, in terms of product development at the Zentralbahn or the Lucerne Interlaken Express? Where is that journey going to take us? Uh, good question. Of course, we want to be ready for the future also with our product. So there is a project going on that we will have in the future, brand new touristic train uh, with a photo stop near the Lake Lungen. Uh, and as well, a little bit more VIP treatment, a little bit uh, more luxury, uh, more space also for the luggage. And I think it's important for the future that even the next generation will enjoy a ride with our Lucerne Interlochen Express. For my final question, uh, I'd like to ask you something a little more personal. I noticed that you have a very unique ring. Uh, and I, can't, I feel like there's a story behind it and I, I was wondering if you'd share that with us. Oh yes, um, actually it's a story about uh, me and my wife. Uh, I grew up in Interlaken. Right. I moved to Lucerne and then I found my wife. And actually now I live with her here in the Lucerne region, just in front of Pilatus. And we just married uh, one year ago. And for us it's- Congratulations. It clear. Yeah, thank you yeah. very much. For us it was clear that uh, my home and her home we should, in a way, find both of them also on the ring. Yeah. So actually, Mount Pilatus is there. 
Okay, yeah. Then we have Eiger, Munch and Jungfrau, so my home. So we have all the four mountains. Okay. So three of my home, one of my wife's home. For now, I'd just like to thank you very much uh, for uh, taking the time to answer our questions. It was a pleasure. We spent a fantastic day here together with you. And I hope to, uh, to see you very, very soon. Stefan, thank you very much. Thank you, Vido. It was a pleasure as well. Thank you. Thank you. What a charismatic and funny guy and a real expert in his field. And you know what? I'm never going to forget that story about that ring. No, That's going to stay with me forever. <laughs> but now we're going to move on to our next segment. Danielle and Michelle are not only our colleagues at Swiss Travel System, but also passionate travelers. Last time we gave you the inside scoop on the Bernina Express and traded our office for the Montreux Riviera region. This summer they went on a quest to give you a closer look at the Lucerne Interlaken Express, a unique rail line that connects two of Switzerland's most desirable destinations. It's safe to say that no trip to Switzerland is complete without a visit of these two cities. And the Lucerne Interlaken Express is the preferred way to get there. Now, let's turn to Danielle and take a look at what she experienced on her day out. Danielle, over to you. Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm today at the third main station. Oh, hang on. Hello. Hey, Danielle, it's Michelle. Ah, hi, Michelle. How are you? I just wanted to let you know that I'm traveling on the Lucerne Interlaken Express today. I heard you on the same route. I'm actually in Lucerne. I'm heading now to Interlaken. And where are you? I'm in Interlaken, traveling exactly the opposite way. But how about we meet in the middle, on top of the Brunig Pass? What a great idea. So see you there for lunch. What a coincidence that Michelle happens to be on the same train track than me, just starting on the opposite way. I will be traveling on the Lucerne Interlaken Express from Lucerne to Interlaken. The train ride combines two of the most popular destinations in Switzerland and takes less than two hours. And the best thing, it's included in the Swiss travel pass and no seat reservations are required. Are you curious now? Good, then let's go. The train has a onboard restaurant. There is no better way to start a day full of sightseeing than with a refreshing breakfast, right? Let's kick things off with the so-called kickstart of Russia. The Lucerne Interlaken Express passed beautiful Lake Lungern. The lake is known for its emerald green color. It's a result of special minerals in the water reflecting off the sun. Apart from the beautiful lakes, this region is also typical for its chalet and also the sweeping views on the mountains. To all Korean drama fans out there, this place might seem familiar for you. This house over there is part of the film set of Crash Landing on You. With the Swiss travel pass, hopping on and off is so easy. Once I'm ready to move, I can easily take the next train towards my lunch spot. I'm now on my way to the Brünig Pass, which connects the middle of Switzerland with the Bernese Alps. Due to the high difference of around 500 meters from Lunger on, the train switched to Coquimbo. Typically, the train runs around 120 km per hour, but uphill only 40 km per hour. Thank you, Danielle. From excellence talk to the big screen, I wouldn't be surprised if you're gonna be a big movie star in a few years from now. Me neither, but hey, she really hit the jackpot weather-wise. And it really is a truly breathtaking journey. Oh yeah, you're right. But hey, ticket control. And I don't think that this lady has a ticket. I guess it's bye-bye, Jennifer. You wish, Wido. I'm here to stay. I have my Swiss travel pass ready. Ah, that was a smart thing to do. But uh, are you ready now to see what Michelle experienced on the other side? I'm ready, are you? I'm definitely ready. So now we're gonna go to Michelle and follow her on her trip from Interlaken to the Brunig. As you already heard from Danielle, I'm traveling on the Lucerne Interlaken Express today, starting here from Interlaken. Luckily, this train runs every hour in both directions. This makes meeting up with my colleagues very easy and enjoyable. I mean, look at this. I hop off the train, and there is where the bus leaves. Here is where the boat leaves. And just a few steps over there, you can take the cable car up to the Bretzbootor. 
and with my Swiss Travel Pass in hand, I can hop off the train at any stop along the way and just go on a boat ride. That's how easy it is. But now I'm gonna look at the old town of Brienz. Come along. In Brienz, you find picture-perfect alleys and chalets. Once named Europe's most beautiful alley, the Brungasse is lined with 18th century chalets and houses. I guarantee you, you can take a beautiful picture. And Brienz is also called the Schnitzeldorf or wood carving town. So wood carving has a long tradition here. By the way, with the Swiss Travel Pass, you can visit this museum free of charge. And the museum benefits come in especially handy along the Luzerne Interlaken Express. There are so many museums along the way I'd like to show you, but I'm afraid we must move on. Now I'm heading towards the Brünig Pass, where I'll be meeting Danielle. So hold your belongings and I hold my cup, because now we're going uphill. Hey! hey. The Lucerne Interlaken Express and the sights along the way never stop to amaze me. I mean, look at where we are. We are on a mountain pass surrounded by forest and in the middle of it, a thrift shop. Did you know this one wasn't always used as a thrift shop? It used to be a station restaurant where a lot of international travelers come just to eat in this restaurant. How about we go inside and have a look around? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. The route of the Luzerne Interlaken Express is rich in natural beauty and Swiss tradition. Now, you just saw a few highlights worth stopping by. And the journey to this site is so easy and convenient. Just hop on the Luzerne Interlaken Express and hop off wherever you like. And remember, there is a train connection every hour. Now, that's it for today. And from beautiful Brünig, we're handing it back to the studio. Cheers, Cheers. Danielle. Cheers to you. Bye. It seems like they had a lot of fun. Oh yes, definitely. And that shop, I mean, that's a, that's a really truly unique shop. But I mean, what would you take from that shop? If you could have anything from that shop, what would it be? I saw this beautiful little watch in the shop. Did you saw that as well? And um, it's my birthday coming up, Vido, you know? Birthday? I, I didn't quite get that. Uh, I think it's time it. <laughs> now that we go straight to the Big Apple to Martin Uster. Martin Uster is a Swiss native who grew up in the Bernese Oberland and has a special connection to the region. As a market manager for North America, he will give you his take on what makes this rail line so desirable. Hello from New York. I'm Martin Uster, market manager North America. Luzern and Interlaken Jungfrau region are some of the most popular areas to visit for travelers from North America. Now, having a direct train between the two regions is very convenient. It is your obvious best choice. Yes, it's one of our premium panoramic trains, but have we mentioned already that reservations are not required on this one? Well, the reason is it runs every hour. You can keep your travel plans totally flexible. Do like the locals do. They're not just commuting to the city on this train, they're traveling the other way as well. They go hiking as it stops on all the smaller places in between where you can get on and off. Within just an hour and a half, you get to see such a lot of scenery, lakes, waterfall all over the place. On a short distance, this journey is packed with highlights. So make sure you get your cameras out. That's a great idea, Martin. Hey, let's take a picture for Martin here out of the Lucerne Interlaken Express. Yeah, Selfie time, okay. Lucerne, Lucerne Interlaken, Interlaken Express. <laughs> wow, that came out really nicely. Cool. Very nice. And now is the moment we've all been waiting for. Today, we have the opportunity to take an exclusive look inside the train driver's cabin. Come join us. Are you guys ready? Right now, we are living the dream of every train enthusiast. We are here in the driver's cabin of the Zentralbahn. We are having an interview together with Stefan Zwalen, who is working for the Zentralbahn since 2009. So let's ask him some questions. Stefan, in the cockpit 
ist wirklich so viel los. Es gibt sehr, sehr viele Knöpfe und ähm, Schalter. Kannst du uns eine ganz kurze Tour durch äh, das Cockpit geben? Ja, also hier haben wir Zugfunk. Hier. Da kann ich kommunizieren mit der Leitstelle, kann kommunizieren mit dem Zugbegleiter, der hinten drauf ist. Hier haben wir alle Leibedienelemente vom von Zugumlauf. Mit dieser bremse ich Bremse hier. Das ist meine Bremse. Und hier fahre ich fahren und bremsen. Und die ist mit Luft unterstützt und die ist elektrisch und mit Luft unterstützt. Jetzt, muss ich wieder, jetzt kann ich wieder Gas geben. So. Und hier sehen wir die Armaturen. Da kann ich den Zug überwachen. Alles zusammen. Ich kann hier schauen, was alles, wie viele Motoren das schaffen und einfach, ob alles in Ordnung ist. Ja. Es sieht es sieht doch noch sehr, sehr manuell aus. Wie viel ist wirklich manuell treiben und wie viel schon automatisch? Es ist sehr viel automatisch. Jetzt geht für die Zahnstangen. Das tut die Daten ablesen, tut selber synchronisieren. Aber das Einzige, was ich machen muss, ist noch umschalten. Aber sonst sind wir eigentlich alles überwacht. Und das Einzige, was ich muss, ist einfach fahren und bremsen. Und die Strecke kennen wegen der Geschwindigkeiten und so. Was sind die schönen Momente als Lokführer bei der Zentralbahn? Ja, wenn man hier die schöne Gegend sieht, wir als Oberländer sowieso, wenn man uns sieht gegen Brienz oder einfach die ganze Fahrstrecke hier und ein klein gelassen. Wir haben nicht Hochgeschwindigkeitszeug, wir können schön gemütlich fahren. Das ist das, was mir einfach was mir imponiert. Ja. Auf der Fahrt hierher haben wir, wie du gesagt hast, wunderschöne Seen, Berglandschaften gesehen. Gibt es einen speziellen Moment, der dir in Erinnerung geblieben ist? Ja, der kommt jetzt da gerade. <lacht> da hier vorne ist so ein Felsvorsprung. Und da hat mich ein Gemschi angeschaut, wo ich mich zu fahren konnte. Okay. Der ist da schön gelegen hier auf dem Felsvorsprung und hat mir lange nachgeschaut. Das war wirklich ein geniales Erlebnis. Gewesen. Hier so ist er gelegen Aha. und das Gemschi haben wir richtig angeschaut und dachte, was macht das der da? <lacht> ähm, jetzt gerade eine persönliche Frage. Ähm, auf einer Skala von 1 bis 10, wenn wir in dein Handy würden schauen würden, würden wir mehr Zugbilder sehen oder mehr Selfies von dir? Ja, mehr Zugbilder. <lacht> <lacht> Selfies bin ich so, bin ich so Spezialist. <lacht> Hat es auch schon mal einen Heiratsantrag auf dem Zug gegeben, den du begleitet hast? Bis jetzt nicht, dass ich wüsste, nein. Bis jetzt habe ich das Erlebnis noch nicht miterleben ja. Was ist deine Lieblingsstrecke vom Luzern Interlaken Express? Wir fahren hier jetzt gerade am Lungensee vorbei, wo atemberaubend schön ist. Ist, es auch das, ist auch das deine Lieblingsstrecke oder hast du noch eine andere? Ja, einfach allgemein der See, ja, sei es vom Brienzer See, Lunger See, Sarner See, das ist natürlich einmalig ja, mit diesen Bergkulissen und diesen Seen. Das ist eigentlich meine Lieblingsstrecke, ja. In welcher Jahreszeit fährst du eigentlich am liebsten? Im tiefen Winter. <lacht> Wieso im tiefen Winter? Weil ich gerne Schnee habe und kalt. Stefan, noch eine letzte Frage. Darf ich die FIFA betätigen? Kannst du gerne machen, ja. Sehr cool. <lacht> It's been great to have met so many incredible people that work tirelessly to bring their valued guests to their destination, be it on the train or behind the scenes. Absolutely. And we also want to thank you, our audience, for being part of this exciting journey on the Lucerne Interlaken Express. And once again, a little reminder, make sure to take the quiz afterwards and collect valuable points. Next time around, we'll take you deep into spy territory when we go to the Schildhorn and we can't wait to have you with us. If you enjoyed Excellence Talk, tell your colleagues in the travel industry about it. As always, have a great day and stay, stay excellent. excellent.